Hey guys, so it's that time of year again where I take a look at which is the best stocks and shares ISA in the UK for 2023. As much as these are a ton of work for me to put together, it's always interesting to see how much things have changed in the past year. And on the note of changing, what I decided to do this year is put these up on my website for free. So if you're maybe midway through the year, you can pop over there and just check these details are still up to date as things do change. So in this video, what I'm going to do is look at all of the providers side by side so you can compare them directly. I have tried to choose the very best and most popular platforms I think most of you will be interested in this year and taking on board your comments. If there's a provider not mentioned here that you're interested in, you can use this video as a base to compare them to see if they're a good fit for you. I'll then also do a tier list of which order I would put them in and let you know which one I'm personally going for. The providers I'll be including are Hargreaves Lansdowne, Interactive Investor, we've got Invest Engine, Trading212, AJ Bell, Vanguard, Best Invest, Free Trade and Interactive Brokers. First, let's take a look at the platform fee. This is a fee you pay for having your ISA account open. Hargreaves Lansdowne is capped at £45 for the year, which works out to be £3.75 per month, which is pretty reasonable. Interactive Investors' fee structure has gotten slightly more complex. There's a £4.99 per month plan, which lets you invest up to £30,000, then a £9.99 plan, which is over £30,000, and a new plan at £20 per month. These include some different features, which I'll get onto later. Invest Engine's fees are one of the best on the list. Their monthly account fee is £0 if you go for the do-it-yourself platform, or you'll pay 0.25% if you go for the managed service. It's worth noting you can actually choose to have a managed portfolio and a DIY portfolio and run them side by side. On to Trading212, they have one of the cheapest ices around and their fee is currently 0 Please be aware they make the majority of their money through their CFD platform, which is where you trade with leverage so your stocks will move much higher and much lower. And as stated in the disclaimer on their website, 83% of people lose money with this. So please, please avoid that as I don't want you to lose money. AJ Bell's monthly fee is 0.25%, which is actually capped at £3.50 per month, which seems to be a pricing structure which sits just below Hargus Lansdowne's. Vanguard charges a flat 0.15% fee. You need to work this out as it can get quite expensive as your portfolio grows. It's capped at 300 75 per year, which is £31.25 per month. You reach that pricing at £250,000 though, so you might want to just work out the fee based on your current portfolio. But remember, you can now get their ETS from Invest Engine in their DIY portfolio without paying a monthly fee. The only flip side is if you wanted to go for their life strategy funds, but you can make up something similar using other funds for less cost. Moving on to Best Invest, they charge a 0.4% fee. This fee unfortunately isn't capped, but even on a £100,000 portfolio, it's still only £400 for the year. So you may want to weigh up the other benefits they offer, which may outweigh this, which you'll see later on. Free Trade has changed their fee structure again this year. I think this is part of their path to find profitability as they are still making a loss. And of course, there were articles about them considering a sale. Full disclaimer, I still have my ISA with Free Trade, so don't worry too much, but I will be moving this year. They have two accounts, one which is £4.99 per month and the other £9.99. The main difference is you get priority support and interest, which you would definitely want. And last but not least, we have Interactive Brokers, who I've been asked a ton about the ISA account has a minimum account fee of £3 per month. Now, let's move on to the most important part in terms of cost, which is a trading fee. This is a fee you'll pay each time you buy something on the platform, and this will change quite drastically depending on the type of investor you are. Starting off with the most expensive, Hargreaves Lansdowne charges £11.95 per trade if it's under 10 trades per month, and then it gets cheaper from there. If you use HLO, I wouldn't recommend doing this. I would use their regular investor feature, which makes it much cheaper. With Interactive Investor, their trading fee is 5 dollars but if you have their £10 per month account, they give you one trade free per month, and their £20 account gives you two free trades per month, so that may well be worth considering. Invest Engine doesn't charge you any trading fees, which is great, and neither do Trading212. Remember, with both of these and any platform here, you will still pay the typical fund management fees, which are specific to that fund. AJ Bell are on the more comparable end with Hargreaves. Their trading fee is £9.95 a share, or ETFs and £1.50 for funds. Remember, there is a 
difference between funds and ETFs, so just be aware of that. You may end up paying more in fees than you think. Vanguard, again, is zero, but be aware they do have a fee of £7.50 for any instant trade. Essentially, they process all of their orders in batches at the next available slot, so it's cheaper for them. If you want instant trades, you will need to pay more for it. Best Invest is £4.95 per trade for stocks and ETFs. Their funds are free, and they've also made US stock dealing no trading fee. So that's quite interesting if you buy US stocks regularly and a nice perk from the platform. And Free Trade charges you zero, similar to Invest Engine and Trading212. Interactive Brokers is a bit more complex of a pricing structure, but essentially it's £3 per Western European stock, and it's 0 0.005 to $0.035 per US share, which is virtually nothing. And there's no transaction fees for ETFs, which is pretty impressive. Next, we've got Recurring Buy. This is where, if you invest regularly, you you can save a lot on these platforms and ideally you want to be buying each month to average into the market to reduce your risk. HL is £1.50 per month which is much lower than their £11.95 per trade so you could essentially buy an ETF or stock once and then set up a regular buy each month for it. Interactive Investors offers it for free and so does Invest Engine. Trading 212 it's free but you need to make sure you add money to your account first so it uses your balance. If it's direct with your card you'll be charged 0.7% fee each time. AJ Bell is £1.50 in line with HL and Vanguard doesn't charge you for it. Annoyingly, they are actually the reverse of Trading212 and they only let you do it with a card. So you can't set up a recurring investment from your cash balance, which is something I wanted to do earlier this year. Best Invest, you'll be paying £4.95 for stocks and ETFs or for US stocks and funds, it's free. Free Trade have launched the service too, which is nice to see, but it's important to note that this feature is still in beta, but it should work just fine. And with Interactive Brokers, it is possible. It's likely just going to be a bit harder to find than on other platforms. Next up, reinvesting in funds. Now funds are generally cheaper fee wise because typically platforms will make more on the management fee. Funds have fallen slightly out of trend with the rise of ETFs, exchange traded funds, as they generally tend to be cheaper, but it's not always true. There are some good funds which you may want to consider, such as Fundsmith by Terry Smith, a huge UK investor. HL and Interactive Investor are zero, Invest Engine do ETFs rather than funds, Trading212 don't do funds either, AJ Bell offer it for £1.50, and Vanguard it's free. Some of the Vanguard funds are set up as ETFs, and some are set up as funds. Confusing, I know. It's free on Best Invest, Free Trade again don't offer mutual funds, and Interactive Brokers don't charge a fee. Mutual funds aren't for everyone, but worth including for those who might be interested. Next up is the FX fee, or the foreign exchange fee. This is a fee you will pay when you're buying in a foreign currency. For example, a share of Microsoft will be purchased in dollars and not in pounds. Hargreaves exchange fee is 1% plus. A lot of these actually scale as you spend more money. The FX fee will actually get lower and that'll get lower on those upper amounts. Interactive investors scales up to 1.5%, gets lower as you spend over 25,000, but typically it will be 1.5%. Invest engines is zero as all of the ETFs are priced in pounds. Trading212 charge an FX fee, which is quite low, of 0.15%. AJ Bell's is 0.75% and scales. Vanguard, again, it's in pounds, so there's no fee. Best Invest offers a flat fee of 0.95%, which is easier than a scaling fee for sure. Now, Free Trade have actually changed their fee structure from a flat 0.45% to 0.55% for the 499 account and 0.39% for the 999 one. This switch is primarily to incentivize people to use their more expensive accounts. Interactive brokers charge a flat fee of 0.25%, but there is a minimum charge of $2. You may be able to save in this if you keep money within dollars within your interactive brokers account. I'm not completely sure on this, so you may want to double check. Now moving on to what's available on the platform, because this is what could really shape your decision, because it'll depend on what kind of investor you are. First, shares. HL have over 8,000 shares and interactive brokers over 40,000. Honestly, with either of these two, you'll pretty much find everything, and if you can't, they will always help you out. That's one plus of the more expensive platforms. Invest Engine don't have any stocks or an ETF platform, Trading212 have over 12,000, AJ Bell have over 2,000, and Vanguard don't have individual shares. Best Invest has over 1,500 shares and Free Trade over 6,000. And Interactive Brokers has over 50,000, which is huge. One good thing about Interactive Brokers is if you do want a wide selection or perhaps 
out of the ordinary stocks, you'll be able to find them on there because they access so many markets. A feature you'll be likely quite keen on is if they offer fractional investing. For example, if one share of a company costs £100, you can buy just £10 or £20 worth. You can buy 0.15% of a share instead of needing to own an entire one. This can be handy with some expensive companies and honestly, it just makes the whole process much easier. Traditional brokers don't tend to do this, unfortunately. HL and II don't offer it. Invest Engine do offer it. AJ Bell don't. Vanguard does within their own funds. Best Invest don't currently have it and Free Trade do and so do Interactive Brokers. Moving on to funds, HL has over 3,000. Interactive Investor are included in the 40K mentioned. Invest Engine currently has over 550 and if there's any you can't find, they will help you get them as they're currently doing with me. Trading 212s are included in the 12,000 and Asia Bells are included and Vanguard has all of the Vanguard funds but they only offer their own funds. You can't have funds from other platforms which is a shame as sometimes they can be cheaper. Best Invest has over 2,000. Free trades are included in their figures and so are interactive brokers. Sorry I've not been able to split them out more precisely as I've had to go on the information provided. Even when I've spoken directly to some of these platforms they're not completely sure. Now let's talk about the actual platform itself because the user experience is very important. Luckily, all of the providers have pretty good mobile apps except for Vanguard. Vanguard, frustratingly, have a very good looking mobile app in the US, but it isn't available in the UK, and I'm not really sure why. They all have a desktop version except for Free Trade. They did a beta test of one, which you might want to explore, but it wasn't all that great. Some of the platforms also offer more research than others, which can help you make informed decisions about your investments. HL, Interactive Investor and Invest Engine have decent research insights. Trading212 doesn't have them, AJ Bell has some, Vanguard's is okay, Best Invest is pretty decent and Free Trade doesn't offer it. On Interactive Brokers has free research available and a lot of paid services you can choose to bolt on. Personally, I wouldn't particularly rely on any of the built-in tools for your research, but it's still nice to have to help you make some informed decisions. Next, user experience. Some apps look a lot better than others, but all are fairly decent. HL, I would give a nine out of 10. Interactive Investors does the job, but I think it's pretty ugly. Maybe because I'm a trained graphic designer, but you may like it. Definitely take some getting used to. Invest Engines is nice. I'd give it nine out of 10. Trading 212s is pretty good. I feel like it could do with a bit of refining, but I'd still give it a 7.5. AJ Bells, I would give a six, and it could do with some improvements. Vanguard is eight out of 10. Best Invest has actually got some really nice branding, and you can tell a lot of thought has gone into the platform, so I would give give them a nine. Free trade, I would give a seven out of 10. Really nice design, but the web app has been a huge letdown. And interactive brokers, I would also give a seven. It's very detailed and feature heavy, but not very accessible for an everyday user. A really important thing to talk about is security. How safe are you on all of these platforms? Well, all of the providers I've mentioned are regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority here in the UK, and I wouldn't mention anyone who wasn't. They're also all covered by the Financial Services Compensation Scheme, or FSCS. But it's important that you know how this works. So that £85,000 covers you on your cash balance. And I doubt many of us will be holding 85000 as cash. All of your investments are held separately by a secure third party and can't be claimed against if something went wrong with the company or it went bust. I want to stress that because a lot of people ask me with my portfolio why I risk having more than 85,000 in one provider. Another interesting factor though is company age. HL are over 42 years old, Interactive Investor over 28 years, Invest Engine 6 years, Trading 2 on 2 are surprisingly almost 18 years old, AJ Bell is over 28 years old, Vanguard 47, Best Invest over 37, Free Trade over 7, and Interactive Brokers over 30 years. Age could be important to you, you may choose you want to go for a more established platform. There's obviously newer platforms who are trying to change the game and move away from higher fees. Personally, because I know I'm safe, I'm more than happy to use any of these platforms. I've also included Trustpilot Reviews, which I always debate because I don't know if it's the best metric, but it's interesting to see. HL over 7 7,400 reviews and 4.2 score. Interactive Investor has nearly 22,000 and a 4.7 score. Invest Engine nearly 600 and a 4.4 score. Trading 212s is over 21,000 and 4.6, which 
did surprise me as they do have a risky arm where people can lose a lot. So I expected people to be complaining about it. 4.7 and 3,000 from AJ Bell, only 4.1 from Vanguard, which is surprising with over 2,000 reviews. Best Invest, 4.4, over 600 views. Four, which is on the lower end from Free Trade, which I'm not completely surprised by with 3,000 reviews. An Interactive Investor have the lowest score at 3.8, over 2,000 reviews, which doesn't surprise me at all because the platform is more complicated and people may not be fully aware of all of the fees. I like to look at that, but honestly, it just depends on how much the platform is invested in using Trustpilot and a lot of the time how much money they invest into Trustpilot 2 which is not particularly cheap. Something more important though is support because you need good customer service for sure. HL and Interactive Investor both offer phone and ticket support. Now bear in mind when I say this you may not be able to get direct investment advice on this course it would be a regulated service and a different kind of call. But just general support with your account, you should be fine. And you may have to pay an additional charge for making trades over the phone. So be aware that you may not want to do that. Invest Engine offers ticket support, Trading212 offers the same, AJ Bell offer all three, Vanguard have phone and ticket support, Best Invest have phone and ticket support too, What's actually unique here is they do offer a kind of coaching type service where you can call them and ask for advice from them, which is sort of like a helping hand, which some people might want to consider. Free Trades is ticket based. As I mentioned, you will definitely want to go for the premium option here for support. I struggled with this even on paid. It took days for a response. And Interactive Brokers have all three options. Certain platforms also offer bonuses. Invest Engine will give you a bonus of £25 when you deposit 100. That's withdrawable after 12 months. This is just to stop people people signing up for a bonus and not wanting to invest. I do have an exclusive link for that which I'll pop down below. Trading 212 will give you a free share when you sign up worth up to £100. Best Invest, I currently don't have a promotion for you but I'm hoping to get one soon so stay tuned and that may be featured below or on my website. Free Trade also offers a free share which is currently worth a minimum of £10 all the way up to £100. I always try to be a bit cheeky and ask these platforms for whatever bonus I can get for you guys. Power of the influencer. <laughs> no. Not really. I also wanted to mention perks for these platforms, which I think are quite unique. What I see as a kind of selling point for each of these platforms. Hargreaves lands down is their age for sure, and also the fact you can do everything on there. A lifetime ISA, a SIP, and an ISA. Admittedly, the SIP is a bit more expensive, hence why I'm not using it right now, but realistically you don't have to have all of your accounts in one place. But if you're willing to pay for it, you may want to consider it. Interactive Investor is their SIP, which is an additional £10. This is one of the cheapest on the market once you pass a certain portfolio amount from Vanguard. Invest Engine has to be the platform costs and their rebalancing feature. Being able to just set certain percents to certain funds and invest into them all in once is really nice. Trading 212 would be their trading pies. You can create your own trading pie and copy other people's to see what they're investing in. AJ Bell, again, it would be the fact that you can have all of your accounts there and they offer a lifetime ISA. Vanguard's USP for me would actually be the fact they pay 2% interest on your cash. It's 2.2% but they actually charge a 0.2% fee so it's really 2%. Best Invest actually have a couple. One is the coaching call. Two is the fact you can actually have a flexible ISA so you can take your money in and out without losing your allowance, which hopefully more providers will be moving to. The third is the fact they currently pay 3.1% interest on your cash, which may change but it's actually the best I've seen. So that can help offset your account fees. Free Trades is probably the fact they offer 3% interest on balances up to 4K, which can also pay for your pro account fees, although you obviously need to have 4K to keep in there. The argument against this, of course, is you should actually be regularly investing and not just leaving it as cash. But I do that for now to cover my fees. And finally, Interactive Brokers USP has to be because it's very advanced. I think it's too complex for an everyday user, but if you're looking to do some more complex trades, it may be worth giving a go. So who's the best? Well, here's who I think wins each category. Platform fees, Invest Engines DIY service, or Trading212, hands down. You can't really compete with zero. Trading fees, again, Invest Engine or Trading212. I'd include Vanguard here too, and closely I'd follow these by Best Invest because of the US stock service having no fee. For recurring buys, there's a few clear winners. Invest Engine, Interactive Investor, or Vanguard. 
Trading 212, I just wish they would remove that card fee, but again, very good. FX fee, if we ignore the fact Vanguard and Invest Engine don't have them because they're not applicable, these would be my winners. The amount of shares has to be interactive investors or interactive brokers, don't get confused between the two. A huge selection in both, but honestly, you probably won't need that many. For fractional shares, I would say Invest Engine or Vanguard, Free Trade or Interactive Brokers. Funds, if you're going for ETFs, I would say Invest Engine is a no-brainer. Mutual funds possibly look at HL or Best Invest as they don't charge that fee. Mobile and desktop all are good except for a couple of losers, hopefully that will improve at some point. Company age I would have to go with Vanguard but it's likely just nitpicking. I'm not sure there's a huge amount of difference between 37 and 40 years. Support would go to Best Invest purely because of the coaching facility. Bonus I would say is pretty obvious, the ones that offer a bonus are the best. A T Invest Engine tips it just because the free shares are usually worth about 5 to £10 pound on other platforms. Before free trade didn't increase the minimum, my average used to be around £3 per free share. So when you compare it, I'd rather guarantee that I was going to get £25. Perks I think are quite unique, so I won't particularly pick a winner as I think it will depend on what you value the most. So to make this even easier, I'm going to put these into a tier list of which I think is the best and then let you know which I'm going for this year. Okay, so let me preface this by saying I'm not calling any of these platforms particularly bad, but in my view, some are just better than others for certain reasons. Starting off with my C tier, I've got AJ Bell. AJ Bell are great that they offer a lot of different options, a SIP, a pension, and a lifetime ISA, and an ISA. The only downside I can see is, well, the trading fee and the interface isn't quite as good as HL or II, or they would be upper tier. I'm also going to put interactive brokers here. I know a lot of people are going to be shocked at that, but the platform isn't the most straightforward. It's great for advanced trainers, but I would say 99% of people watching this won't need it, and you'd be much better off with a more user-friendly platform, with a much simpler fee structure. Worth checking out if you want to go advanced, but it's not for everybody. B tier was a hard choice. I put Free Trade here, still a good platform, but with the constant changes, lack of support, and possibly a sale, it's hard to figure them out. Hopefully, it will smooth out over the next year, and they'll become profitable, which we will see. But if they got all that sorted, I'd definitely move them up a tier. I'm also going to put Interactive Investor and Hargoose Lands down here. These two are close. HL has a better design and Lifetime ISA, and II has a more affordable pension. There's not a huge amount between them in my opinion, both are well-established, reliable companies to invest with. Next on my A tier here is YouTube's favourite, Vanguard. I think people often overlook the fact you can buy Vanguard funds elsewhere. All Vanguard ETFs are available on Vest Engine now without having to pay an additional 0.15% fee and you can buy other funds and have a mobile app. So that's why they're here instead of on my S tier. Also here is Best Invest. This one is an interesting one and one I didn't think I would have here this year to be honest. The fees are higher, but if you actually keep cash, the 3.1% interest they offer can help offset the fees. The flexible ISA is a huge plus and the fact you can actually have a coach to give you a call to help you along the way is quite a nice USP. They also have a very nice interface, which always helps. So moving on to the S tier. First First we've got Trading212. I didn't recommend them previously as they were closed and they had a risky CFD arm. So again, please avoid that. But with the cheap fees and investing pies and features, if you want to buy stocks and ETFs, this is probably one of your best options this year. And in case you haven't guessed, again here is Invest Engine, which is going to be my provider for this year. The DIY platform is ridiculously low cost and the way you can manage your portfolio is brilliant and the design is really good. They don't have individual stocks, but 95% of people don't need them. I'll still keep another ISA with some additional stocks in, but I'm going to be shifting the majority of my investment into safe funds. And I'm gonna play around with some smaller amounts in shares. They're also looking into adding a SIP later this year, so it may tie in nicely when my Vanguard portfolio becomes too expensive. We'll have to see. I'm going to document my entire setup process and the funds I'm choosing, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And I hope you found this useful. If you did, do me a favour and drop a like, as these take so much work, and let me know in the comments which platform you're interested in. If you have any questions, I will do my best to help you. As always, thanks for your support and taking the time to watch this video, and I do hope it helps.